Hey guys, welcome to another video for SketchUp from the Elm Tech UK team. Today we're going to take a look at a really fantastic uh, extension or plugin for SketchUp, which is called Enscape. Um, Enscape is used in the BIM world um, and has been used in the BIM world for uh, for a long time now, but is now transitioning over into uh, into SketchUp. So SketchUp does a pretty good job of uh, of giving us a visual of our model after we've drawn it, whether we are in the uh, the AEC space or in the manufacturing space. Um, but with the uh, the adoption of this really easy to use plugin, you can get some some stunning imagery out to show off your product to your customers. So if we just go up to the extensions tab um, and go to our uh, our Enscape extension, um, we can simply just press a single button um, to to start. Um, a render essentially, um, very similar to how other rendering tools work in this, scape, uh, in this case. But this starts Enscape and, and what's different about this is A, you get stunning results instantly um, and B, as you can see, this is a, a live, real-time, instant renderer. Um, we have the ability to use a walk around uh, and as you can see, it, it looks stunning. Uh, it really brings your, your designs to life. Um, just imagine using this in front of a client. If you leave the screen, you'll notice on the top left, if you keep it still, um, it iterates the render um, and just refines it over and over again to get you to a given quality. You can see by holding down my right mouse button, I can change the time of day, make it lighter, darker, and move the sun in the sky um, to really customize how this, um, how this looks. As well as walking around, we can go into fly mode, which turns off the gravity and allows us to fly around the building. Um, turning walkthrough mode back on. Um, again, the quality of this thing is, is, is stunning. It, it takes SketchUp models and really gets them looking fantastically well. Um, but we can go into walkthrough mode, which fully understands collisions. So we can walk down the, in, down the stairs with gravity. Um, it understands the gravity and understands how we can move and navigate around the building. And we can do the same thing walking back up the stairs. So any geometry inside a SketchUp becomes usable, um, interactable geometry. Um, it, it just works really nice. What I love about this is it's actually live linked with SketchUp. So if I just come to the outside of the building, um, I can actually show you some live changes inside of SketchUp, which will instantly update in the Enscape window. So let's just snap Enscape to the right hand side. Um, stick. SketchUp over here on the left, um, and what we're going to do is, is um, come in and put a section plane. So let's say that we want to view um, a rendered section in Enscape. You place the section on in SketchUp, move it or manipulate it to your uh, to your desired position, and you'll see Enscape instantly updates. You don't have to wait for it to update. You don't have to wait for a re-render. It's instant, and again, it looks stunning. The ability to do this on the fly collaborate, coordinate, see what's going on in, in the wall or in the void space. Um, really nice functionality, which works really well. This works with any change inside of SketchUp. So let's just take the uh, section plane off there. Um, and with that section plane turned off, again, you'll see on the right hand side, the model is instantly updating. But um, let's just go in to show you that I can actually add new geometry so let's just freehand draw uh, i don't know a lake or something here that uh, just shows off how quick this is uh, so we'll just mock something up something around about here just connect these two endpoints um, you'll instantly see on the right hand side as i push pull that um, we have an instant change um, let's just design a uh, or should decide of a material let's go with uh, rock for the bottom, uh, let's say this is going to be a, a, a pond or something like that at the front of this house. All standard materials, so everything you can see here from the fully rendered grass to this water material, it's all real time, it's all default SketchUp materials. Um, there is nothing out of the box, um, sorry, nothing non standard apart from the plugin that you can see here. Um, now, in this case, it doesn't seem to have updated my. Um, my water material so let's just make sure that that's assigned correctly yeah it looks okay sometimes you have to restart the renderer um, especially with the grass and with the water because they're very high quality grass and very high quality water 
So we'll just um, let's just redraw this and just reapply the material. No, okay. So we'll just close down the the Enscape window. It'll only take a second or so anyway. With some of the materials, it's not quite live yet. We have to regenerate because of what it's doing in the background. Again, normally the grass or the water, but you'll instantly see there um, alongside the very realistic looking grass, we also have very realistic and animated water, um, which again, it's, it's stunning. It looks real, um, it's photorealistic. You've got your reflections in there from the sky, the reflections from the building. Um, again, imagine you putting your designs in front of your client or or showing them off, allowing your client to have a look at, at the design before it's a reality. These can be saved out to a traditional render. So we've got the ability to uh, do stills, do panoramas if you want to go to Google Cardboard um, or an, another um, standalone VR unit. Um, we have a number of different settings which we can tweak. So if you're used to traditional render engines, we can change some of the settings like make it look like a traditional SketchUp model, turn on uh, sketchy lines. We can turn on architectural perspective. We can turn on polystyrene models. Um, now all of these settings are quick, instant, so we can tweak exposure levels and what have you um, and really see how that's going to affect our model in reality or how that's going to affect our render in reality. So there's, there's a lot of functionality here which gives you a lot of flexibility to create any look and feel render. Um, and you know, you just go and look at some of the samples on the Enscape website, they are stunning. Um, and anyone with any level of know-how with SketchUp can instantly get these, these quality outputs. What's more is I'm lucky enough to have a HTC Vive sat next to me. So I'm gonna come down and, uh, and actually just click one button and jump back into Enscape, and if I pick up my Vive in my hand, you'll notice that the Enscape is now in virtual reality. Let's just uh, put that on my head. Um, go and pick up uh, my controllers, my Vive controllers. You'll notice that it's fully integrated, so we have the controllers inside of Enscape. They are giving us the ability to teleport using the triggers, uh, the ability to manually navigate or manually move around. That feels a little bit strange when you've not done it before. Um, your head takes a little bit of getting used to the virtual reality, but uh, again, instant realistic render and instant virtual reality at the press of a button with any SketchUp model, any level, whatever materials you've used, you can get this instantly. Um, you know, we're really excited about this at, uh, at the Elm Tech UK team. Um, I suggest you take a look at it, and if it's of interest, uh, get in touch and we can see what we can do. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.